This is something I have thought of doing in the past, but always stopped due to the length I had planned and the work that goes into such a video. For this first effort, I am going to lower my ambitions to keep it short and simple. If people enjoy the content, I could do this for future Let's Plays, and perhaps go back to previous games and create reviews of them. People have always said I never go into enough detail of my thoughts at the end of a Let's Play. This is because it takes time for me after playing a game to get my thoughts sorted out. Hopefully, this can expand my audience, even if by a little who may be curious to watch my Let's Plays of these games. However, I want to make these stand themselves apart from the Let's Plays, so I will not include spoiler content and try to use it to help others decide if they want to play the game. I will always include a link to the playlist of the Let's Play so those who wish to can watch it. Enough exposition. Let's get on into the review. Nier follows the story of the main character, who in documentation shares the name of the title. However, the player is free to choose whichever name they please. For this review, I shall refer to him as Nier, as opposed to my character's name. The game starts with an intro sequence to familiarize players with the gameplay, which shows an, an apocalyptic 2049 with Nier trying to protect his only daughter Yona from the menace of the Shades. After this segment, the story progresses 1,312 years into the future, where somehow we meet the same two characters. Nier is still trying to provide for his daughter. However, she is now plagued with a deadly disease, which is common among the people of this world called the Black Scrawl. Nier must journey with a party of characters including a book called Grimoire Vice, a hussy named Kaine, and a child named Emil. It starts out simply by trying to collect the sealed verses that Vice has forgotten to try and cure the Black Scrawl. However, halfway through the game, things take a turn for the worse, and the story includes a few unexpected twists and turns. The story is definitely one of the strong points of the game, and is usually praised more than the gameplay. As I mentioned, it is more simple at the start, but by the ending, there are more questions than answers, as well as multiple endings. There can be some dry periods where the story doesn't advance much, however with this game, it is more of the reveal near the end that makes a good payoff, as it may make you question the entire journey. In fact, to fully understand the details, it will require after-game reading, especially if you can find a translated version of the book Grimoire Nier, which was a sort of companion book that delves further into the world, released only in Japan. Once you read this, you may come to understand why the main character may not have been right in his decisions, the connections of the replicants and shades, and other details which are not told in the game, i.e. how replicants reproduce. This could be considered a small fault, as most people want to get all their information from in-game as opposed to needing to do extracurricular work. However, even excluding this, the story as a whole is very well told, and as opposed to being hopeful, can be downright depressing. It is helped by a strong cast of characters, even with the main character being enabled by the player, he is very well developed, and Vice acts as a great foil to him by being more cautious and logical. Kaina has her own interesting backstory that requires a second playthrough to understand her attitude, and the relationship between Nier and Emil is that of a father and son, which is an interesting contrast to that of his daughter Yona. I must note that I find the father version of the game more interesting than the brother, which I will go into more detail later. Nier features a wide array of gameplay styles, making it kind of hard to characterize. Apparently the developers were inspired by the series God of War, which I am not familiar with. However, it also borrows from shooters with bullet hell magic bullets, an apparently Resident Evil style level, and large boss battles. Nier has a wide array of attacks including brawling attacks with a variety of weapons, a variety of magic attacks ranging from bullets, lances, and whirlwinds. Nier, despite his size, is very agile and easy to control. The brawling is simple at first, however during the second half, shades become a little more difficult to beat. To make your character stronger, you can assign words collected from after defeating shades to yourself, weapons, and magic. This can actually make your character overpowered in the end allowing you to miss dialogue in boss battles near the end due to drain their health way too fast. There are also a variety of side quests you can do to get money and weapons. While most people say these are annoying and skip them out, I actually kind of enjoyed them due to the dialogue between Nier and Vice, as well as showing some character development and what they're thinking. Due to events halfway through, you can actually have incomplete quests which are impossible to go back and complete, and this happens mostly without warning. There is also one quest in particular which requires the player to harvest plants, and this is the only one I would say should have been removed, and it's not fun at all. Overall, I enjoyed the gameplay, 
Despite many people not being fond of it, I don't understand the complaints since the game is flexible to allow you to play in whatever manner you please, as well as mixing different genres together. Perhaps most people like a little more uniformity and less variety, but to each their own. I must note that Kaine and Emil control themselves, but there are options to give them commands. I never personally use this as I found fighting enemies myself a better option, and Kaine and Emil do not really cause much harm to the enemies. They usually just wander around and get lost, transporting themselves to your location after a period of time. Graphically, the game does not do anything special, and the character models are not as refined as games released in the same year. However, this is made up in the artistic design of the game. The characters are also unique in design, especially having an older male as a protagonist. The one complaint I have is the lighting, which felt imbalanced with lens flares sometimes obscuring the landscapes, or sometimes being too dark. The colors don't feel too bright, but this may be an artistic choice of the developers to match the mood of the story. The world of Nier is a lot smaller than it appears, with some areas not being explorable. You'll also find yourself going back to the same locations over and over again, with perhaps only minor changes added. However, the boss battles are large in scale, especially against Jack of Hearts near the midpoint, compared to the size of the player. Sometimes there are so many bullets on screen, that I do not recall many instances of lag or slowdown. This may be due to the constrained nature of the game, which has been done before, such as the lack of background in F-Zero X to keep the 60 frames per second. To sum it up, though it does nothing extraordinary, the overall presentation is well done. Nier is home to one of the most unique soundtracks I have heard in a while. The tracks are hard to describe, and what makes it stick out are the accompanying vocals. Singer Emmy Evans was told to come up with lyrics in a language that could come from 1000 years in the future, and people familiar with different sounding languages will be able to pick up a hint of Japanese, French, and apparently some Gaelic. The songs are very varied, and even though I have heard some comments that the songs repeat too much, I would rather have a few very well done songs as opposed to many more mediocre songs. Some songs are variations, such as Song of the Ancients. This is possibly where some people may find the OST repetitive, though I personally enjoyed the variations. You can hear a sample of the, some of the songs throughout this review, and can easily find a soundtrack online. The released soundtrack actually charted very high in Japan, and was released before the actual game. The voice acting is also top-notch, with each voice matching the character and everyone being very expressive. You can eavesdrop on the townspeople who will talk about current events and even the shades make unrecognizable sounds. But is it truly gibberish? Nier was recommended by one of my commenters and I have no regrets doing a let's play of it. The whole experience was enjoyable, even through the tough times. I must note that this game was poorly received by many critics and had a low distribution in North America. The PS3 version is much harder to come by than the 360 version for whatever reason, and it took me a while to get my copy. As another note I hinted at before, the version in Japan on the PS3 had Nier as an older brother to Yona, and was significantly younger. This was the original concept, though I believe the change made for the Japanese 360 version, which is the one we got, was welcome. The sibling relationship theme common in Japanese media is less effective than the parent-child relationship in the West and as I mentioned, it is a nice change of pace to play as an older character. Another note is that Nier is a spin-off of another series by Kavya called Drakengard, and this story is based on the fifth ending of the first game. I'd say if you are looking for a unique experience, take a try at this game and you may be surprised what you will find. Thank you for watching my first review, and hopefully it turned out well. I am not going to rate the game as I find that it will add nothing of value. I just wanted to share some of my thoughts after the Let's Play, and hopefully I succeeded. And as I said, this is a test to see if I can expand some of my content for my channel by helping others decide if they want to play the game for themselves, and perhaps get some people to view the Let's Play. Feel free to be harsh on this review, as it is the only way I can improve on them. For more information about the story and the general development, check out a translated transcript of the book Grim War Near, which I will provide the link to. Also feel free to check out my blind Let's Play and watch me experience the game in real time.